Good morning, friends, and welcome to Toddler Storytime with Miss Natalie. This week, we are talking all about animals that live in something that's very wet, very salty, and something that's right on our front door. That means that we live really close to it. Do you know what it is? It's the ocean. We are gonna have stories and songs all about different animals that live in the ocean. I'm so excited because we live right by the big Pacific Ocean which is the biggest ocean in the world. And I bet that sometimes you get to go play by the water and maybe you can get to see surfers or birds or maybe even a dolphin. Oh, they're so cool to watch. They just dive in the water like this. Before we get started, friends, let's do our morning stretches to get our bodies ready for story time. Let's reach one arm out in front and wiggle our fingers and the other arm, wiggle your fingers. Wrap yourself up in a big, big, Big bear hug. And reach your arms up and lean to one side and lean to the other side. Oh, stretch up high. Touch your thighs, go to the tops of your legs. Touch your shins, the bottom, and your toes, and your knees, and your nose. And let's clap three times. One, two, three. And clap our hands into our laps and get ready for our first story all about a little whale. And here's our first story, friends, just like I said, about a small blue whale. There are a lot of different kinds of whales in the ocean, and a blue whale is just one of them. A small blue whale sat in the silver sea, wishing, waiting, waiting for a friend. Waiting was hard, but he didn't mind. He was sure a friend would be worth the wait. As the sun rose, he saw a glimmer of gold followed by orange and red. The colors were so beautiful that the whale wondered if this was what friendship would be like. As the sun grew stronger, it got warm and the whale wondered if this was what friendship felt like. As he passed, that means he floated, he noticed a small pink cloud. Could this be the friend he was waiting for? Hello, he called. The cloud drifted and sent down some raindrops. I agree, said the whale. It is rather warm today. And as he licked the rain, he wondered if this is what friendship tasted like. The cloud moved away. Wonderful idea, said the whale. I've always wanted to go south. So he traveled with the whale happily, with the cloud happily. And the whale wondered, is this what friends do? They settled under a sky of stars. Let's count them, said the whale. One, two, and then the, whale, the cloud released hundreds of raindrops and the whale couldn't keep up. You're right, he laughed. There are too many stars to count. Look at all the stars. Do you think you could count them? I couldn't count them. One morning, the sun, the sun shone above the pink cloud and a rainbow appeared. And so did three bouncing penguins. One, two, three. They laughed, laughed and swept as they tried to catch the colors. And the whale was sure this is what friendship sounded like. And he wanted to help. Isn't that what friends did? He heaved himself onto the ice. Hop on, he called. Whee, sang the penguins as the whale flung them high, so close to the pink cloud who was swirling away. The whale tried to follow, but he was stuck. Uh-oh. The penguins clicked their bills, tapped their feet, and shook their heads. One by one, they waddled away. A sad blue whale sat on the milky ice, wishing, wanting, and waiting for help. Then two, then hundreds of snowflakes floated down as one, two, hundreds of penguins appeared. And they all have a shovel. Are they gonna help the whale? They scooped the snow, making a slide. Pushed, pushed, climbed on. Wee, shouted the penguins. And I'm free, shouted the whale as he splashed into the sea. The penguins sent up a cheer. Hooray! The whale sent a huge spray of thanks, and the clouds sent down flurries of frozen confetti. The whale knew exactly what friendship, what friendship looked like, sounded like, tasted like, and felt like. And it had definitely been worth the wait. What a cute.
cute little story of friends helping each other. I hope you enjoyed it. And this song, friends, is a really silly song that I used to sing at preschool when I was your age. And now I get to share it with you. Are you ready to have some giggling? All right, let's count to, let's count all the way up to 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, almost there, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ready? Slippery fish, slippery fish, swimming in the water. Slippery fish, slippery fish, go, go, go. Oh no, he's been eaten by a tuna fish, tuna fish, swimming in the water. Tuna fish, tuna fish, go, go, go. Oh no, he's been eaten by an octopus, octopus, swimming in the water. Octopus, octopus, go, go, go. Oh no, he's been eaten by a great white shark, great white shark, swimming in the water. Great white shark. Great white shark, go, go, go. Oh no, he's been eaten by a humongous whale, humongous whale, swimming in the water. Humongous whale, humongous whale, go, go, go. Oh, excuse me. That whale has to be so full. Did you enjoy that song, friends? It's so silly, but it's so much fun to sing. We're gonna read a book, friends, about Big Owl and Shrimpy. One's a big fish and one's a tiny fish. Let's see what adventures they have. In the wide blue sea, there was a very clever fish named Shrimpy. You could not find a smarter fish. But Shrimpy was also very, very small. Shrimpy wanted to be like Big Al, but no one wanted to be friends with a tiny fish like him. So Shrimpy was lonely and he cried little salty tears into the big salty sea. One of the fish said, let's play tag. Big Al said, me too. And Shrimpy said, same. But when the game started, Big Al was it. He was fast, but he couldn't zigzag. He could only tag Shrimpy. Then Shrimpy was it, but he was too slow. He couldn't catch anyone, but he was smart, so he hid and tagged Big Al. All the other fish said, no fair. Shrimpy and Big Al are just tagging each other, so they had to leave the game, and that's when they became best friends. Shrimpy loved having a big, strong friend, because he could now fly faster through the water than ever. He always had plenty to eat, and Shrimpy went new places with Big Al. One day, they went to the edge of the big deep, where Shrimpy had never been because it was too scary. But with Big Al, he felt safe. They sunk to the edge and looked over, which and it went down and down and down, and so far down that some fish said there was no bottom at all. So Shrimpy said, can you push a rock down there? Big Al said, sure I can. So he pushed a green rock and went over the edge. And it tumbled and tumbled, and then it was quiet. That was great, Shrimpy said. Watch this, said Big Al. I'll push a bigger one. He pushed a big rock and flapped his fins. Over the edge it went, but Big Al cried, help me! His fin was stuck, and the rock went tumbling with the big deep, and Big Al with it. Shrimpy was scared. He swam back to the other fish. Come quick, we have to help Big Al. They dived down into the big deep where it was almost dark. Big Al saw a fish and he didn't feel so big. He was still stuck and the white rock was in a big shell and he was so scared. What if some big fish got hungry? Just above him, they saw a light. The giant fish saw it too and swam away. Closer and closer they came. It was the lantern fish and Shrimpy. They looked at the rock, at the shell and Big Al's fin. Then Shrimpy gave orders. 
10 little fish held the shell, 10 little fish held the white rock, and 10 little fish pulled on Big Al's fin, and pop, it came loose as the white rock, white, white rock wobbled and tumbled down to the deepest part of the big deep. Then they all turned around and they swam up and up and up and up, headed for home. There was a party that night. Everyone was happy that Big Al was safe and Shrimpy was the guest of honor with his big ideas. And that's the end. I like that story because it shows you even if you're small, you can still always help a friend. And that big deep sure was scary. Did you know in the ocean, there's really parts of the ocean that are so deep, there isn't any light? Have you ever wondered what kind of sounds different animals make in the ocean? I'm gonna sing a song with you where we're gonna learn what a couple of animals and what the waves in the ocean sounds like. Are you ready? Let's count to five. One, two, three, four, five. The waves in the sea go up and down, up and down, up and down. The waves on the sea go up and down all day long. And the shark song in the sea go snap, 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 snap. The sharks in the sea go snap, 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 all day long. And the fish in the sea go swish, 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 swish. The fish in the sea go swish, 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 all day long. And the crabs in the sea go click, 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 click. The crabs in the sea go click, click, click all day long. And my favorite animal, the dolphins in the sea go dive down, dive down, dive down. The dolphins in the sea go dive down all day long. Good job, friends. There are so many different animals in the oceans and they all make different sounds and they all do different things. I like dolphins they dive up and down into the water after they jump out of the water. It's really cool to watch. Friends, thank you so much for joining me for our ocean animal story time. I hope you learned something new about an animal that lives in the big, big, big oceans. And I hope you had a lot of fun. I can't wait to see you next week so let's say goodbye together on the count of three. Ready? One, two, three. Bye!